Welcome, nice to meet you guys. My name is Dr. Greg Asatrian. Um, I'm currently a UCLA orthodontic resident, and this is my first video on this channel. So, the reason I'm making this channel is to basically explain orthodontics to you guys, the patients. So, if you're in braces or thinking about getting braces, Invisalign, if you're in the middle of it, if you're wrapped up with it, if you have any questions, um, this is like kind of an open forum so that you can communicate with me and ask me any questions you might have. And I can shed my insight and answer questions like, like what's a power chain or why do I need to have some of my teeth extracted or can I wear Invisalign or do I need to have braces? So this is kind of an open forum. Um, I'm gonna answer the questions that I think are FAQs and the questions I get from my patients and I'm really receptive to hear what you guys have to say in the comments below. Just shoot me a question and I'll make you a video and go ahead and answer that for you guys. So ask me anything, seriously, anything. And we'll answer it for you. So getting braces or Invisalign or any type of orthodontic treatment is um, a long process and it's a lot of repeated visits so it's really important to open up communication with your orthodontist and ask any questions you might have. A little bit about me, um, I graduated from UCLA in, with a degree in molecular cell and developmental biology which is a mouthful um, back in 2012 and then I went to UCLA School of Dentistry and graduated from there in 2016. And I'm currently in my second of three years at UCLA Orthodontics. That's a ton of UCLA IDs and apparel. So what are we waiting for? Let's get started. Figured we'd start off with something pretty simple that a lot of people that have braces get in the beginning of their treatment and that's called spacers. Now everyone freaks out about spacers because they hear that they're oh so painful and they hurt. Well the real fact of the matter is that it's one of the first things that go into your mouth that are causing tooth movement. So anything that starts movement tends to be a little bit more uncomfortable than anything else. For instance, everyone that knows that they had braces, the first day that they got their braces was the worst one. And as you move forward, you get more and more used to it because the teeth are already starting to move. So what spacers do is that they're these little rubber bands and they go between your back teeth to make space for the bands. So it's a lot of terminology there. So let me show you guys what this looks like. So the spacers are these little rubber guys and they're a little blue or white depending on where you get it from. You can see it right over there. Okay, and this is what's going to go between your teeth. So let's say at our next visit, what we're going to do is we're going to band this tooth. What a band is, is this little metal ring right here. It's like a bracket for your regular teeth, but it's for the molars. Okay, but we'll get to that in a second. So what we want to do is band this tooth. So what we'd want to do is make space on the front of it and the back of it. And the way we would do that is with what? You're right, with these spacers, right? So what the orthodontist might use is floss, and they might use two pieces of floss or one piece of floss. And if they do two pieces of floss, they don't use this, but if they are gonna use one piece, they can use this instrument, which makes that clicking noise. That's called a math owl. And you'll hear it a lot throughout orthodontics. And what they can do is hold on to it like this, and then floss between your teeth, just like this, pull it through, and then shimmy it out so that it goes on top and under the contact of your tooth. Let's take a closer look of that. All my patients know that I describe spacers as a little popcorn kernel. And it feels exactly like that. Anyone that's had spacers already kind of knows. It's something that feels like it's stuck between your teeth that you shouldn't take out. Because if you take it out, it makes the next appointment more difficult for you. So it's for your own benefit to keep those guys in there and make sure you floss every other tooth except those in order to prevent popping them out. So let's look at it a little bit more close up here. Now we're gonna add the separator to the back side of this tooth, you see? So what, just like what we did, we're gonna floss it right through, pull the separator under the tooth, and shimmy it up, just like that. And then you'll see that it goes above and under the tooth. At this point, we just take out the floss. Just like that. of days when you come in the orthodontist can remove these separators and what you'll see at that point is that there'll be a little bit of space on the front side and back side of that tooth and what we'll use that space for you guessed it 
Remember what we talked about earlier, the bands? The ring that goes on the tooth? Well, that's what the space is going to be used for, okay? And then we'll try on these bands and get the perfect size one and be able to slide it in. Now, if you can imagine, if we didn't use the separators, it would be super hard to get this ring to go between the teeth. We wouldn't want to jam it in there for it to be uncomfortable, so that's why we use those little separators to make the space. So let's say a few days into these spacers, you realize that one of them has fallen out. You can go ahead and call your orthodontist, but if that's too difficult to get an appointment or actually you know, make the time to go in, you can replace these at home pretty easily, especially if there's space. What you gotta do is take floss and put it on both sides of the spacer just like this so that you can simulate what we did and you can stretch it. Then what you're going to do is just like what we did in the office, we're going to pull it down between the contacts, shimmy it through, just like what we did, and wiggle it up. And you want to make sure that it goes above and below the contact. If it goes only above the contact, it'll fall out. But if it goes only under the contact, it'll go under your gums and irritate your gums, and we wouldn't want that either. So this is what you would do. And then, just like what we did in the office, we'll pull it off of this side, Pull it off of this side and you should be good to go. And that's it. That's all there is to know about spacers. If you guys have any questions or comments or love the video, hate the video, please leave them below. Give it a thumbs up if you like it, thumbs down if you hated it. And also remember to subscribe so that I know that you guys can stay up to date with these videos. And that way I can continue to answer you guys' questions. With that being said, Dr. Greg.